Okay guys, today we are going to finish up our polynomial unit with discuss, discussing um, the features of polynomial graphs. We're going to start here with example 1, which asks us to find the zeros of the function. Then it says state the multiplicity of any multiple zeros. So remember, this word multiplicity just means look at the exponent, right? So we're going to take each factor, because this is in factored form, and we're going to set that equal to zero, and we're going to solve it. So we would take the square root of both sides here. So our zero would be zero. And then the multiplicity, I'm just going to use an m, is the exponent, so two. Okay, so now we're going to take our next factor x minus 7, set it equal to 0, we would add 7, so our 0 is going to be 7, your multiplicity, look at your exponent, would be 3. Our next one, we're going to take that 2x minus 7, set that equal to 0, we would add 7, divide by 2, so your zero is at x equals seven halves, and this time my multiplicity is six. Our last factor, we're gonna set equal to zero. We would subtract three. So our zero is at negative three, and the multiplicity exponent here is one. So our multiplicity is one. If you wanna pause the video and try the your turn, and then come back and check your answers. Okay, so here's the answers for the your turn. Hopefully you got those right. Let's move on to example two. So in example two, it says state the end behavior of each polynomial. And if you notice, it says with no calculator. Um, so basically what I'm asking you to do here is just to memorize a few rules and then we'll come down and we'll actually use our calculator to solve example three and so on. But there's a couple things you need to know about memorizing the end behavior and it'll actually just speed up some problems for you if you can memorize this. So if our polynomial has an even degree, so an even power basically, and I'm gonna give you an example. if it is a positive leading coefficient. So example, 4x to the sixth. So I have even degree, positive leading coefficient, the graph of that is going to be what we call up, up. So the two ends will be going up. If it is a negative even, so a negative leading, co negative leading coefficient, it's going to be what we call down-down. Both ends of your graph are going down. So then we're going to do odd degrees. Oops. So example here. If I had 3x to the third, so I have a positive leading coefficient. I'm just going to abbreviate here. So positive leading coefficient is going to be what we call down up. So down up for the ends. Negative leading coefficient.
is going to be up down. Okay, so we call this up up, down down, down up, and then up down. So if we can memorize those, we can look at a polynomial and I can tell you what the end behavior is going to be without even having to look at the graph. So the first thing we got to do is make sure that we take the leading variable, the highest exponent. So you have 5, 4, 2. So here's what I'm going to use to make my decision. So I have odd degree with a positive leading coefficient. So I'm just going to write positive odd this is what we have here. So I, I don't have to graph this. I know that if it's a positive odd, it's going to be down up. So as x approaches negative infinity, or the left side, okay, what's my y values doing? So y approaches, so look over here at your sketch. As x comes in from the left hand side, negative infinity, the end of your graph is going down to negative infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, the end of our graph, so come in from your big numbers, the end of your graph is going up to positive infinity. Example B, again, I just like circling that highest exponent. So in this case, we have a positive even. So positive even, we're going to have up, up. So to write my end behavior as x approaches negative infinity, so as x comes in from the left, the end of my graph, or my y values, are going up to positive infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, f of x approaches, so coming from the right, end of my graph is going up to positive infinity. Example C. We have a negative even. So negative even should be down down. So as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches, so coming from the left, y values are going down to negative infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, so coming from the right, end of our graph is going down. Again, down, down, negative infinity is down, negative infinity is down. Where they will trick you, or I will trick you, is I'm not going to have it in descending order. So if you look, your highest exponent is in the middle of this function. So this is a negative odd. So we're going to have up, down. So as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches, come in from the left, end of our graph is going up. As x approaches positive infinity, so come in from the right, graph is going down. Again, up, down, up would be positive infinity, down would be negative infinity.